Which is stronger, vermiculite concrete or perlite concrete? The main difference between perlite concrete and vermiculite concrete comes down to the fact that vermiculite is very, very absorbent. Now, perlite is as well. It will absorb water, but not in the same way that vermiculite does. Vermiculite absorbs water like a sponge. And so, as a result, when you're making and troweling a vermiculite concrete, when you lean in with your trowel, the, the concrete will compress slightly. It feels a little bit like troweling a sponge, whereas perlite doesn't really do that. And as a result, you'll notice that the consolidation of a perlite concrete brick is not quite as good as the consolidation of a vermiculite concrete brick. And again, that's the result of the fact that the vermiculite is so readily absorbing moisture and kind of feeling like a sponge, whereas the perlite feels a little bit scratchy and stiff when you're trying to trowel it. So I would say that because of that, that feature, vermiculite does make the stronger product because in terms of their weight, when you make a brick of comparable size, they are basically the exact same weight uh, when you try to break one. They're, they're almost the same strength, but the vermiculite concrete seems to be just a little bit stronger, and I attribute that to the consolidation of the concrete. There's a dog. I, there is a dog there. I don't know if you can just see, like, movement like the predator, but there's, in fact, a dog.